This is exercise 24, Elements of Design. Set up your new document with the specs as shown on your exercise. Double click on the master page in the Pages panel. You can use your Control minus keys to zoom out and spacebar just so we can see a little better. And we're going to use Control D to place an image. Follow the path that you were given, the O drive, 204 handout, Boston, InDesign, Elements of Design. Some of the files are here and the image files are in here. We want this white paper, JPEG. We want the loaded graphics cursor to stretch from upper left bleed and come right down to the very bottom bleed. So you can see we have a little bit of texture and a little a light purple color, but it doesn't reach all the way to the spine. So with my select tool, I will pull this over and then fit the contents to the frame. And now I want to have this JPEG paper, uh, image also on the right side of the master pages so that it will be applied to all our left sides and our right side pages. So I'm going to use my Alt key and my Shift key and duplicate the image on the right hand side. I will click off. I want to put a guideline at 0.75. If I pull down over the artboard or pasteboard, I get a guide across the whole spread. If I pull down over the page, then it's only across the page, but the control key will force this to go across the spread. And I'll use my shift key so I can lock in to 0.75. And now I want to get a text frame, type out elements of design, control A, Agency, FB, with a point size of 24. Oh. A point size of 24. <laughs> Enter. And now I will switch to the Select tool, set the frame to the content, and I want this to be lined up at the margin and that guideline. So I'll pull a guide out here, put this here. I'm going to pull another guideline to this margin and I'm going to duplicate this by pulling it over with my Alt and my Shift key. I can't see if it's snapping so I'm just going to do that again. Okay, click off. And now I am going to select this guideline and delete it just to keep this clean. Now I'm going to switch to my page one in the pages panel. And you can see that these elements have been applied to every page, but on the first page we don't want it quite like this. We don't want it to be dictated by the master page in this form, so we need to convert it from a master page element to just a regular text box on this page, and the way that you do that is control shift and click on it. It turns into a regular bounding box and we are actually going to change this to 30 points. So control A to select it all, 30 enter. It's overset 
So I'll make the text frame bigger and then fit the frame to content. And then we're just going to pull this down to the middle to get it out of the way because we want to put an image across here. So control D, get this pencil line JPEG. Oh, I'm going to undo and escape. Make sure that you click off of this or the picture goes into this active box. So click off, control D, pencil line, and now pull it from the bleed across to the other bleed line. Then take this lower handle and move it up just below this horizontal line. And the last thing to do while having this selected is to open up your text wrap and make sure you apply no text wrap because we're about to put this text onto the graphic. And we want to put this right here. It's now behind the image, so press and hold the control key in the right square bracket. Click that. That brings it forward in the stacking order. And next, we are going to turn the page of our handout. So I'm going to click off now and I'm going to make a paragraph style. It says deselect any style so that nothing is selected here in the panel and create a new style. So go up to the panel menu, click the menu, click new paragraph style. This will be called topic and we need to go to the basic character formats and change this to agency FB bold and the size is 40 and I'll say OK. So we now have a new paragraph style. We're going to make another text box. Type the word lines. Click the topic. A style. It's applied to that. Change to the select tool and fit the frame to the content. And now we're going to put it over here, so it lines up against the margin, and click off. And now we're going to bring some text in. So I'm going to click off everything and press Control D. I want to show my import options, and I will need the file called lines, and it's not in the images. This is text, so I'm coming up one level. And here it is here. And click open. Make sure these two checks are on. Click OK. And hold down the shift key and get the cursor close enough to the margin and that guideline that you get the white cursor and click. That flows the text in automatically through all the columns and pages. And we need to click, I'm going to click off and then into this frame and pull this frame down to that guideline. And now we want to take this text and have a paragraph style for this body copy. So I'm going to click off and I'm going to take this basic paragraph text and I'm going to click so that nothing is selected and click back in here just to show you that anywhere that we go in this new text it's brought it in as basic paragraph. Now I'm going to click off again and have nothing selected and I'm going to make I'm going to actually take this and pull it down over this icon and release. And now I have a basic paragraph copy and this is the one that I'm going to 
make some changes too. So this is going to be called our body copy. So we'll change the name and we're going to indent and spacing. Actually, let's go to basic character and you can see that it's brought in the Minion Pro Regular 12, which is the default. Every text has to have something, so it's brought that in, so we don't need to change that. Space after here, 0 0.0625. And we'll say OK. And then I'm going to click back into here, which you can see right now is the basic paragraph style. I'm going to Control A to select all of this, and I'm going to change it to body copy. And because we put that space after, you're going to see some spacing changes here. It's more spaced out. Okay, and now on our now we're about to do another paragraph style. I'm going to stop this video at this point and continue on to the last one. So I'm just going to click off before I do that and have nothing selected on here before we do our next step.